Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Drakan, as always, and welcome to another season of Master of Orion. So, a week ago I asked which race should I play. I didn't get too many responses, at least not on YouTube. But yeah, apparently one of my um, viewers suggested that we should go for the Clackens because how the uh, uncreative uncreative works so pretty much uncreative means that uh, from each tree we pick right for example chemistry we get random tech of the available ones where we usually just click hey I want this armor not fuel cells with uncreative races we will get one of these at random pretty much so yeah, the Clackens they have food production plus one industrial production plus one large homeworld uncreative and unification which from which unification is actually a pretty good thing so yeah the Clackons are a large insectoid people with a highly ordered society they are extremely industrious adding plus one to both their food and industry production the entire race communicates thinks and operates virtually as one their hive mind allows communication to pass swiftly and effective effectively yeah I can read with each worker acting with great conviction operating as one as a result Clackons are the only race with a unified government and enjoy a 50% bonus on farming and population uh, production production even I don't know why I wanted to say population but well the downside of all this thinking alike is that the Clackons have great difficulty in coming up with new technologies and are rather uncreative so pretty much they are huge ants also they look like huge ants so yeah it shouldn't be a surprise okay uh, as always we will be Drakan our color will be let's say red okay Koldan actually we have a pretty good spot uh, for now let's go with the smallest one Okay, oh, oh, that's actually good. Okay. Uh, we cannot, no, we cannot afford colony base for now. I mean, we can, but it would be quite bad, I think. What is it, barren? So I don't think there is like any kind of um, food production here. Okay, and let's go to tech. Okay, as you can see, we cannot really choose a tech. Well, we will. Mm, this is a bad example because we will get all of these techs because they're like the basic. Uh, let's start with freighters, and we'll, when we get those, we will be able to actually go for a new colony. Okay. Uh, we will also get all of these, so that's also a bad example. Science leader? Yeah, why not? We will send you to Coldan already. Okay, more stuff. Okay, let's go for these. Ah, plus four production to food already, that's nice. Okay, and now let's go for this. Okay. Oh, it seems that uh, Uncreative has been a little bit changed. Because it seems we have one tech available, it's no longer like listing all of them and then just picking one. It just picks one and tosses it in. So that's actually 
I guess that's the new patch thing. But I'm not going to complain, I mean, that saves a bit of time, I guess. But yeah, we have definitely less tech to research. And unfortunately, I believe the casts are the same. Oh, hello. Yes, uh, by all means, please join. Okay. Enough of housing. Uh, colony base. As we wait. Freighters first. Two colonies. Freighters. Colony ships. Awesome. We have plus two food. With this we have more. Uh, what could we use? Fusion beam. Why not? Uh, you're kind of not good. Oh, plus one food. Uh, bra -bra 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 -bra. Solo enrichment. Would be nice, but it's a little bit too expensive as of now. Anti-missile rockets. I never use them. Maybe this will be the first time I actually will use them. Go for the barren planet. Yeah, there is no food production here. Good call. Farm, barracks, and then starbase. Uh, okay, here. Hydrophonic farms, actually. Let's go like this. This actually makes quite a bit more sense. Anti-missile rockets. Tachyon comes, will be next. Okay. Well, let's go for heavy armor. Because why not? Okay. GNN, where the news comes first. A wealthy merchant has contributed 400 billion credits to the Metlar Empire. Of course, it couldn't be me. I mean... I never had. I am never lucky. Now, okay, heavy armor, uh, battle pads. Oh, that's actually good. We definitely want this. Who the hell are you, Captain Kerr, the smuggler, trader, weaponry, navigator, husband? Uh, two billion credits per turn, but you have trader. So yeah. As soon as we meet another race, we can actually make profit out of him. Cool, we cannot speed the production here, sadly. But that's okay, we have plus four food still, so... Could be worse. Uh, freighter fleet, okay. Hydrophonic farms. Okay, it's going all good. And guidance system provides friend or foe recognition guidance to missiles and torpedoes. They will retarget the nearest enemy ship if their first target is destroyed. Automatically installed once the technology is researched. Okay, so that's good. We definitely want this. Okay, barracks. Oh crap, I don't have money for you. And I would love to have you around. Okay, let's go for the Space Academy. And let's hope for Xenopsychology. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most watched information source. While carrying out secret high-level experiments, Mushan scientists stumble upon the secret of advanced metallurgy. Of course. Okay, we should have enough money now. Xenopsychology, thank you! But we don't need it yet. Uh, leaders. Yes, we want to hire you. And you can go here. Because, I mean, it wasn't that bad when you're counting only on science. But yeah. Andromeda, Androgena, even, is. Well, she may not have science. But financial farming and labor leader, 20%, is really good. Uh, 
Come on, something. Magistrate Ra Rush Icky, the warlord. I also would like to have him around, but. Mm, oh well. Okay, we have a star base completed. Uh, Space Academy not really needed right now. Okay, I need you guys to do at least something for me. Uh, we don't need to actually. Oh yeah, that's a nice, nice new thing. With the patch, the 150.7 patch, we got a new slot for another ship design, which is for me awesome. Okay. Uh, we don't need really that much, but still. Yeah, screw it. Fusion beam. For now, I'm not gonna name the ships. Okay, let it be like this. A destroyer class. Which will be pretty much a bigger version of the previous one. Actually, hmm. We could go with heavy mount. Oh, bollocks! Heavy mount. There we go. Only three, but that's enough. Next up, a cruiser. Oh, hey, is that new? Could be. Definitely feels like there are there are more designs. But as I said, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is supposed to be our missile based ship. Uh, let's have at least two of those fusion beams. Okay. Next up, this will be a battleship. Okay, it's gonna be this one. Okay, heavy. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Do we want heavy? Not really. Ah, forward extended. We could do this. Twenty-five. That is good enough. Unfortunately, we still don't have any shields. Okay, another battleship. This one. Actually, wait. We don't have the transporting thingy. So let's design a Titan for now. Hmm. Okay. I guess it can be like this. Just let's add some more stuff to it. Holy crap, you have a lot of space. Okay, enough. Okay. Uh, building this one will take 5. This, this one 16. But it's better. So let's create 2 and 1 wasp. Okay, this is a colony ship, right? Right. Uh, go there. ECM Jammer, thank you! Okay, fusion bombs, Xeno Psychology, fuel cells, I think we may need those. Uh, what's this? Tundra, but it's poor. Uh, okay, it's not that bad. We can work with it. Okay, bam, bam, and bam. And I guess over here we can send emo, emo, whatever.
Oh, we met somebody. Okay, and let's think about some voice. Oh, the silent people feel no fear, seeing glorious clock and ships speed through our night skies. Oh, we know that you will honor us with peace and brotherhood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but not. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. What am I even doing? Oh dear lord, why? <laughs> and on that note... Uh, actually, before we end the episode... Um, audience? Uh, Emperor Emios of the Cylon welcomes you to ch this chance to communicate... Emperor Dracon! <laughs> Seriously. Trade treaty. The trade treaty is accepted. May both our peoples prosper from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, this is so bad. Where are you? Okay, you have two stars. All right. Info. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's reduce the amount of stuff. Population, well, we have a bigger food income, so this is not really much of a surprise. We can afford to have more people. Buildings, uh, slightly more. Fleet, uh, well, we have a smaller f fleet, definitely. Tech, far behind, but of course, these guys are the Cylons. Cylons? Cylons? Whatever. They have way better researching capabilities than the uncreative clackons. Worth noting, the Silence actually are the creative race. So they get all the techs from each category. So where we have one tech available, right, and the normal normal races have a choice between few techs, they get all the techs from that one tech tree. But anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys and gals in the next video of Master of Orion. So yeah, take care. Bye!